Welcome to iLecture Online. Our next problem deals with thermodynamics, in particular cyclic processes in thermodynamics. So here we have a process that looks rectangular in a PV diagram and the problem reads as follows. An ideal gas undergoes a four-step cycle as shown in the PV diagram below. During this cycle heat is absorbed by the gas in and they give us four possible answers. Either, either one, each one of them is a combination of two of the four steps in which they claim the process absorbs or the gas absorbs heat during that particular part of the cycle. So either it's one and two, one and three, one and four, or two and four. Now this one you can probably do a quick guess and the reason is as follows. Let's draw the isotherms on the diagram that kind of look like this. So those lines that I just drew, they're called isotherms. That's where temperature is constant along those lines. So when you go up on the process or from the left to the right, you can see that the temperature increases from here to here and from there to there, and the temperature decreases from there to there and from there to there. So it would make sense to think about if you have a process where the temperature increases, it's likely that during that process heat is absorbed by the gas. So my initial guess would be one and four would be the two parts of the complete cycle where heat is absorbed and that would give us answer C. Now, how do we know for sure that that's the correct answer? Well, we use the first law of thermodynamics which tells us that the change in internal energy is equal to, and I probably should use a capital U because that's a state variable, so so the change in internal energy is equal to the heat absorbed by the gas minus the work done by the gas. So notice that we have delta U equals Q minus W and some text will actually have it as Q plus W. So this means work done by the gas. And then if we use the equation delta U equals Q plus W, which again is the first law of thermodynamics with, with a different definition, it is work done on the gas. So notice that it depends how we want to define the first law of thermodynamics. Both equations are correct if you use the correct corresponding definition. I like this one because I like to think of it in terms of work done by the gas. When the gas expands it, it does work and so that's the way I like to think about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at 4 and 2 first because notice with the 4 and 2 cycle or the part of the cycle for 4 and 2 no work is done because there's no change in the volume. So 4 and 2 we can say that work equals 0 because delta V equals 0. If the volume doesn't change there's no work done by the gas. Which means the equation then becomes delta U equals Q and so therefore when we look at the part of cycle number four here we can see that delta U is going to increase because temperature increases. We know that this must be a plus that means Q must be a plus and when Q is a plus that means we add heat to the gas. So add heat to the gas and we're looking for the part of the cycle where heat is absorbed by the gas, so when heat is added to the gas, that means the gas is absorbing heat, so that means that 4 is part of the answer, which means either C or D can be correct, A and B cannot be correct because they don't include 4. If we look at 2, that means delta U equals Q again, because in this case we realize that the temperature drops at 2 because we go from there to there, that means delta U decreases, that means Q is a negative, and if Q is a negative, that means heat is removed from the gas. So we remove heat from the gas, and then you realize that it cannot be 2 and 4, because 2, that's where heat is removed from the grass, so that means the only possible answer we have left is answer C, and that would then be the result of this, and we move on to the next question. So you can actually very quickly determine that the answer in this case is C. But how would we look at 1 and 3? So let's do 1 and 3. So on 1 we use the equation delta U equals Q minus W and notice for number 1 the temperature increases going from left to right so if the temperature increases that means internal energy increases so that's a plus. 
How about work done? Well, notice that um, what we could do here is we're going to rewrite the equation. So I'm going to rewrite the equation like this, that Q is equal to delta U plus W. So it's the change in internal energy plus the work done by the gas. So we know that delta U is a positive because the temperature increases from there to there. Now, does the gas do work? Yes, the gas does work, so it's positive work done by the gas. That means this is plus as well. And where is all that energy going to come from? Well, it's going to come from the heat added to the gas. So the amount of heat added to the gas is the sum of the change in internal energy plus all the work done by the gas. That means that this is also positive, and that means we add heat in that process as well. Which means that 1 and 4 are the two parts of the cycle where heat is added to the gas. And again, that supports the idea that answer C is correct because that includes 1 and 4. And that is how it's done.